Welcome back to Switch to Linux. My apologies for the crudity of this setup, but what we are going to do today is we are going to use this Android phone and we are going to show you how to sync your calendars and contacts to your Nextcloud platform. And uh, what we're going to do here is uh, we're just going to start with the Nextcloud app and then we need to also use an application called DavDroid and we are going to, for the purposes of this case, use the stock calendar and stock contacts on this Android. Now, because there's so many different apps and different ways to do things, these are not the only ways to do this. Now, this is the only way I know of completely to get your next cloud system working is by using the next cloud. Well, it's really not even the next cloud application we need, but we need this one here that is uh, DavDroid. Actually, now it's called DavX5. It used to be called DavDroid. And uh, both of these are available from the Play Store or they are available on FDroid. So if you are like me and you do not use any Google services at all, you can go to FDroid. Uh, you can either install the FDroid app and thus go ahead and download them or you can um, just go right to FDroid's website. So here is uh, FDroid's website on here. And you can go right on to FDroid's website. And when you're at the website, then you can go ahead and uh, download these. Now, I will note that uh, starting, I think it's in Android version 7, if you download an application, you cannot install it directly from the download location. You have to move it from the downloads folder into some other folder on the phone. I usually just drop them into documents. That will allow you to uh, to do them. So uh, DavDroid um, or uh, DavX5, this is an application that will sync uh, any type of your open source um, CalDAV and CardDAV applications, which is what Nextcloud is based on. Now, I generally install the Nextcloud app just for uh, just so that I have it installed on the system and if you forget what application that is you come on down here into your settings there is an option here to sync them and it will actually tell you to use DAVX5 formerly known as DAVDroid for current access so if you click on this um, since we actually have DAVDroid installed, it will go right to DAVDroid. If you do not have it installed, it actually defaults going to the Play Store application. So you're going to need to go ahead and download that. Now, when you add the account in, um, you actually don't have to use the remote.php forward slash DAV. The system puts that in automatically. Um, but what we're going to do is first we're going to go ahead and um, just assuming that this is a fresh install. First, we're actually going to look at our calendar and our contacts. You can see that we have nothing on our contacts and we have nothing on our calendar. Again, I am using the default calendar um, on this phone. On my personal phone, I'm actually using one. I don't know what the name of it is. It's just a simple calendar I picked up in the Avdroid, um, in the uh, F-Droid store. For my contacts, I just use the stock contacts application that is installed on Lineage by default. Okay, so um, let's just go ahead real quick and just do a brief overview of the Nextcloud app itself because it's very simple. Uh, you just kind of come into here. This is everything as it sits on your structure. Um, you can see your activities, your favorites. If you have any photos in your system, you go there. It's going to give you your photos um, shared. Now, I think I have another one for music because I have a music system installed on my system and uh, that's kind of where we're at. So there's really, it's not really worth doing a video about that. Pretty much anything to share a file, to view a website, whatever else, you'll now have the option to share it with Nextcloud. All right, so we're gonna go into our uh, DavDroid or DavX5. Now, it will tell you about this every single time you boot this app up, which is kind of annoying unless you go ahead and install this. So this is uh, your device will uh, restrain DAVX5 synchronization to enforce it. So basically this is because battery optimization. If you're disabling your battery optimization, changing your battery optimization, etc., 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 then you will not see this. I'm just going to go ahead and not now. The next thing is if you are using this to synchronize tasks, which I have never used this feature, but if it's something that... Um, that you do want to do synchronized task lists, things like that, 
then you'll want to install this application. If you hit the install option, this defaults to go to uh, the Play Store. I'm guessing this is also going to be available on F-Droid. So I'm just going to hit Not Now again. So here it asks us to go ahead and get started. We're just going to go ahead and push our click. And um, we have email address. That's not what we need. We need URL, uh, username, and the server. So our base URL. So if you remember our base URL, this is just the, uh, the basic public directory of your system. I think I have an, an SSL installed on this. So let's go ahead and do that. So tlml.link is my thing there and then we need to go into our username and my username is test user this next cloud is going to be killed by the time we're done i still don't want you to see my password so we're going to go ahead and show you the password well not show you the password okay so it is now uh querying the server this is what we have um so um, it says create your account. This is just what your account's going to be in your settings and account setup. And then we can select the way our V cards are done. We're just going to go ahead and keep that the way it is and create account. Now we have this guy on this sign here that simply says test user. So when you click in on the test user, you will see the options here. They are deselected by default. Now, one of the things I found found about this is it does not like to sync the contacts on the first try. So you actually have to come in here and sync them a couple times. So I'm just going to go ahead and select all of these. I think I can probably leave off the birthdays. Um, and then there's at the very top, there is a sync button at the top. I want to make sure these are going. Now, if our contacts don't seem to show up in the contacts app, we just need to come in here and manually redo it a couple more times. All right, so now it asks us about scheduled synchronization. Once again, because battery optimization is apparently turned on um, and open tasks, yes, it does get us annoying. Just for an extra case, I'm just gonna go ahead and click that one more time. It seems to have synced itself. So now if I go into my contacts, hopefully I'll see my contacts. So I'm not seeing them, but it doesn't have my basic default system. We're gonna come back and deal with that in a second. That is actually what I found to be fairly standard. If you pull this down here, what you will actually notice is the calendar is synced. So you see those dots under 3, under 10, 11, and under 18. These are the dates that have our test events. You remember our other event? So our calendar is completely synced up. Our contacts, again, the contacts sometimes, you got to fight with your contacts just a little bit. Um, and so we're going to go back to our dav droid here and I'm going to come down here and I think what we're going to do, let's go ahead and refresh that list and I'm just going to hit the sync a couple more times. The fact that I'm seeing the bars do this a little bit longer, that tells me it should now be working. So let's go ahead and check our contacts app now. And now you'll see that all of my contacts are in the system. Um, so if you remember, that's all the contacts that we had inside of our Nextcloud platform as we have been building it out. Okay, so it turns out that the app that is on this cheap Alcatel phone will not allow you to go directly into your uh, cloud account for some reason. Um, I have no idea why. Uh, my guess is it would allow you to work inside of a Google one or whatever else. So I just jumped onto Android or onto F Droid and we're going to install a simple contacts app and see if that will actually allow it to work. So we're going to go ahead and open this guy up. We're going to allow access to contacts. Now I can see all the contacts. Test phone is there. Um, but now what I'd like to be able to do is since I know test phone does not appear on my cloud service, we're going to go ahead and delete it and we're going to hit new and see if this will allow me to add the contact to the cloud. So that might end up being the way to do it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead back up here and we're going to resynchronize manually synchronize our contacts and see if that actually pushes everything up online where we need.
Okay, so having a look over here on our actual build, you'll see down there at the bottom, test phone, that is the guy that we just created. So apparently if you're using such a cheap Alcatel type phone, this is just one of the $30 Alcatel Android phones, uh, which is certainly the worst case scenario, then uh, you're going to need to install that extra application. So that one was simply called, I think it was called Simple Contacts Pro, um, which was available on the um, uh, on F Droid. It's got to find it. So there's that contacts. So it was this one, the orange button that says contacts. So this is actually the one that when I use this one, this one will now sync into the cloud account. So this one actually works the way that we needed it for our application. All right. So um, it does look like if your uh, if your individual contacts application on your phone. Mine on Lineage does. My guess is most of your phones will allow you to choose to put it inside of your cloud. This one did not, so just grab these. And this is, like I said, F-Droid is just a great place to find some, uh, some of these applications. Um, I'll actually show you the calendar that I use as well. It's just, whoa. So mine is actually simply called Simple Calendar. So it looks like it's made by the same group of people. So that's actually the one that I'm using. Um, I can't remember if there was a reason why I'm not using the built-in uh, calendar on Lineage, um, but this one actually worked perfectly fine for all of my cloud instances. So uh, in my case, well, since I completely do Googleify my life, then I make sure that I'm using F-Droid to download everything. All of these applications, you're going to be able to download on them on the Google Play Store if you are a little bit less concerned with Google tracking things. But regardless, um, this type of methodology will work on any type of device, um, on any type of Android device. So of course, this is a stock Google cheap Alcatel phone from Walmart for 30 bucks. I use the exact same methodology on my Lineage phone, which is a much nicer build. Of course, with mine, it is, um, uh, with my phone, um, I use the built-in contacts app, handles everything in my cloud system as well. Uh, my calendar app did not, and so I am using the third, the, the uh, secondary calendar, but that's just kind of the, the thing to figure out, which, which application combo you need. The thing you are going to need in either case, you're going to need DavDroid or Drav DavX5, and then that will, what that's going to do, in fact, is that gives you a, under your settings and under your accounts, that actually gives you an account under account, so you'll see that we have one for the address book and we have one that is uh, not the address book. This seems to be the reason why uh, we don't get uh, the address syncing up first. You really have to go in there and click that other second one like we did in, earlier in this video. And then of course I have the next cloud one here as well. So those are the three things that you will have functioning to get your system syncing and working with an Android phone. Thank you for watching this edition of Switched to Linux. You can follow along on the social media accounts if you want updates as to what we are doing and have a look at the links above the video or in the description down below for more information on how you can help support this channel.